Hey everybody, it's Carrie Bradford, and today I'm going to show you a few tricks on using Silhouette Studio and the little words series that are available on the Carrie Bradford Studio site. You may have seen some of these sets of words. They come in a few different styles with more to come, I'm sure. But they are so fun to have on hand for just that quick little something that you just want to add to a page or project. Probably one of the most popular things you're going to want to do when you get some of these is to change the color. And a while back, Studio added a feature where you can select by color. And this little nugget of goodness is marvelous for changing colors in a project like this. While I'm using the Designer Edition, this feature is also available in the Standard Edition. There's just one additional little feature that the Designer Edition has that the Standard doesn't, and I'll show you what that is here in a second. Now, before we jump into this fun little feature, I wanted to point something out to the users of the Standard Edition. Even though this feature is available in the Standard Edition, the DXF files that you will be using from outside sources like the KBS Store do not import with any color. So what you'll see is an image like this. If that's the case, then you'll have to go through and select each rectangle, holding down your shift key, and change the colors that way. And you would also need to do that for the text as well. And actually, what I would do is probably start with the text, select each one, because selecting the text will be easier to do when you don't have this filled with a color. So if you go ahead and select your text, you're gonna have to turn it into a compound path, because if you notice here, all these little pieces are individual. So if we right click, make it a compound path, now, if we fill it with color, then you'll see that we're able to go ahead and do that. If I were just to fill this with color without turning it to a compound path, you can see it fills every little bit with color, but that's easily corrected by just turning it into a compound path. But once you've done this, once you've changed everything to color, you can save the file and then have that available to change to any color scheme you want in the future. So there really are some great advantages to having the designer edition, and this is one of them, being able to just modify what you want in color already. So here I have my scenic little words colored file, but perhaps this color scheme doesn't match your project. Maybe you want more of a beach theme, kind of soft beiges and browns, or maybe it's more Disneyland-esque and you want brighter colors. Or maybe you want them all black with white text, so you can mink them up nice and shiny like this. Well, it's pretty easy to do. The first thing we wanna do is we want to ungroup this image. So I've selected it. I'm gonna right click and choose ungroup. And you can see that all of those pieces are individual now. The text is still grouped. So we can ungroup that as well, but I'm going to do something a little wild and crazy. I'm going to select this text and I'm going to press Control or Command X to cut it away. And now it's up in our little copy universe. And it's just gonna stay up there as long as you don't press Control C for copy. We've got that up in that little universe and we can recall it at any time that we want. And that's kind of handy when you're dealing with this. So say for example, I just wanna switch this all to black. I could just come over here and flip that to black press Control or Command F to paste it all back in front. And then I can change my colors to white from there. So that's a quick, easy way to do black to white or a solid color for the background, a solid color for the foreground. I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that. And now say we want to go ahead and start changing these by color. So we could come through here, hold down our Shift key and manually choose every single color that's the same or the easier way would be to come up here to edit and then do select by color. And then we wanna come over here to by fill. And if you notice right here, all of the colors that we have on our screen show up right here, which is lovely. So let's maybe start with the dark gray. Let's come up here and choose this color. And you can see that it has selected all of those dark gray colors. And if I hold down my shift key and press my arrow key, you can see which ones have been selected. So that's kind of nice just to kind of move it, say, okay, yep, it got everything that I needed, and then you just put it back. So now we can come up here, and we can come pick an aqua color. 
That's really bright. Let's tone that down. And actually, let's maybe put it in a beige tone. Let's go lighter, just so that it's something different than the aqua tone that's already there. Maybe about there. So great, one color down, bingo. Now say we want to change the golden colors. So again, come up here to select by color. Let's pick up the gold. And then say we want to change that to the same color that we just did. Say we want more of that beige color. We can choose this little icon right here and it's a little eyedropper tool and it will transfer the properties of one shape to the other selected shape. So currently we have the golden shapes selected. If we click on the button, and this is available only in the designer edition, and we come up here and select the beige color, then it just changes it to beige. So that's another handy little tool in the designer edition that you can use to adapt one scheme and apply it to another. And that's just pretty nifty, right? So if you want to come through and change it to the match a color scheme that you're working with, then do select by color and then go ahead and then fill it with the colors that you would like. So maybe we'll just put in purple. <laughs> that ain't that pretty, but you know, it's all for training purposes. <laughs> now, once you have the colors as you need them, I would go ahead and group this all together because it will be easier to work with as you move through with the text and such. So now that it's grouped together, go ahead and press Control or Command F to paste in front that text. And now that we have our text in place, if you want to make it all white, you could do that. Or if you want to come in and change the colors, then you would need to ungroup it and change each one of those individually. Once everything is set, you would of course delete this little readme that tells you some instructions on how you can use this and turn it into a print and cut file. With this particular file, we can change all the colors to these boxes. That means each of these boxes has a set of lines going around it. So anywhere they bump up to another box, there are actually two sets of lines there. And you need it that way in order to be able to change the colors. But if you're going to cut it with the silhouette, you don't want two sets of lines. You don't want that double cutting going on. So as a solution to this, there is a frame that is included within the kit and it looks like this. So you can just select this, press Control or Command C for copy, come over here. Let's make sure that none of these cut lines are on. They shouldn't be on, but maybe if you were working with the DXF file, maybe the cut lines are on. So you just wanna make sure it's set to no cut. And then come back and press Control or Command V to paste it. And let's just select it all. Come up here to our line and do a line center. And now let's zoom in and you can see with the cut line, well, let's turn that on, cut. You can see it goes around that perfectly. So this way you have the option of changing your colors and having a framework to cut with. Kind of like having your cake and eating it too. <laughs> you don't want to double cut it. That would, especially with the tiny little ones, sometimes that gets really, yeah. So by having that additional framework, it really just helps gives you more flexibility for your designs. Now this is all fine and dandy and together now and all you would need to do is set it up as a print and cut and you are good to go. So hopefully that helps you have a bit more fun with your little words series. Thanks so much for watching.